Activity, Customization In this activity, we will explore different ways to customize your computer to make it reflect your personal style and preferences. Change your desktop background. Introduction Personalizing your computer can be a fun way to make it your own. One of the easiest ways to do this on a Mac is by changing your desktop background. In this tutorial, we will show you how to change your desktop background to a pre-installed image or your own picture. Changing to pre-installed images To change to a pre-installed image, go to System Preferences and select Desktop and Screen Saver. Click on Desktop, then select a pre-installed image from the list. You can also select a folder of images to rotate through. Setting your own picture To set your own picture, go to System Preferences and select Desktop and Screen Saver. Click on the plus button at the bottom left corner of the window to add a new folder or picture. Select the picture you want to use as your background and adjust the settings to fit your preferences. Customize your folder icons. Change folder icons on Mac. Find the folder you want to change the icon of and right click on it. Click on Get Info to open the folder information window. Click on the folder icon in the top left corner of the information window. Copy the custom icon image you want to use, or select an image from your computer to use as the folder icon. Click on the folder icon again and select Edit from the top menu. Click Paste to paste the custom icon image or select the image from your computer. Close the folder information window and the folder icon will be updated. Customize your taskbar. Steps Click on the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Click on Desktop and Screen Saver. Select the Screen Saver tab. Choose a built-in screensaver from the options provided, or click on Choose Folder to use your own images as a screensaver. Adjust the settings to fit your preferences, such as the time delay before the screensaver starts and whether or not to include music or sound effects. Click Preview to see what your screensaver will look like. Click Save to save your screen saver settings. Customize your file explorer. Steps Open a finder window by clicking on the finder icon in your dock. Click on View in the top menu bar. Select Show View Options. Adjust the settings to your preferences, such as the icon size, grid spacing, and text size. Click on the Sort by drop-down menu to change the sorting method. Click on the View drop-down menu to change the layout of the icons. To change the color of the File Explorer window, Click on Finder in the top menu bar, then select Preferences. Click on General, 
Then select the color you want from the sidebar icon size drop down menu. Customize your keyboard shortcuts. Steps Click on the Windows Start button and select Settings. Click on Devices, then select Typing in the left-hand menu. Scroll down and click on Advanced Keyboard Settings. Under Custom Keyboard Shortcuts, click on the plus button to add a new shortcut. Type in the name of the application or command you want to create a shortcut for. In the Shortcut Key field, press the combination of keys you want to use as your shortcut. Click OK to save your new shortcut. Change your screen saver. Steps Click on the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Click on Desktop and Screen Saver. Select the Screen Saver tab. Choose a built-in screen saver from the options provided or click on Choose Folder to use your own images as a screen saver. Adjust the settings to fit your preferences, such as the time delay before the screen saver starts and whether or not to include music or sound effects. Click Preview to see what your screen saver will look like. Click Save to save your screen saver settings. Change your sound settings. Steps Click on the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Click on Sound. Adjust the volume slider to change the volume level of system sounds. To customize sounds for specific events, Click on the Sound Effects tab. Select the event you want to customize, such as New Mail. Choose a sound from the drop-down menu or click on Custom to choose your own sound. Adjust the volume slider to set the volume level for the selected event. Customize your Start menu. Steps. Click on an app icon and hold down the mouse button. Drag the app icon to the dock, and release the mouse button. To remove an app from the dock, click and hold the app icon, then drag it off the dock. To rearrange the app icons, click and hold an app icon, then drag it to the desired location. To change the settings of the dock, click on the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Click on Dock and Menu Bar. Adjust the settings to your preferences, such as the size of the dock icons, the position of the dock on the screen, and whether or not to show recent applications. Set up your default programs. Steps Locate the file type you want to change the default application for. Right click on the file and select Get Info. Click on the arrow next to Open With to expand the section. Select the application you want to set as the default. Click on Change All to apply the changes to all files of that type. Click Continue to confirm the changes. Change your color scheme.
steps. Click on the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Click on General. Click on the Appearance drop-down menu. Select Dark or Light to change the overall color scheme. Click on Accent Color to change the color of your taskbar and window buttons. Select the color you want to use from the options provided or click on Other to choose a custom color. Click on Desktop and Screen Saver to change the color of your desktop background. Select the image you want to use or click on Solid Colors to choose a color. Keep watching. Thank you.